Begin by making a small slit mid-ventrally. Once a small slit is made, gently insert the scissors and begin to cut the skin down towards the tail. Be sure not to cut any visceral muscles. Work around the nipples and make sure not to cut through the genitals. If the genitals are in the way, cut around them. Gently push your fingers in between the skin and the visceral and separate them. Once the skin is sufficiently moved away and the knee joint is vis visible, gently move the knee joint up. You may need to apply a small amount of cornmeal to absorb any bodily fluids. Work the knee joint up until it is clearly visible. Then snip, snip the joint with a scissors or a wire cutters if it's for larger animals. After the snip, gently work up the muscle. Apply more cornmeal to obtain a better grip and also to absorb fluids. Once the ankle is reached, all the muscle needs to remo be removed from the bone while keeping the bones and joint intact. Make sure to apply a large amount of cornmeal to keep a good grip on the skin. Use a scissors, exacto knife, or other sharp object to remove as much flesh as possible, and then add a good amount of cornmeal to absorb any fluids and to dry the skin out. The same procedure needs to be done for both hind legs. Once both hind legs are completed, begin working the skin away from the muscle. Add a, more cornmeal to absorb any fluids. This may be especially important if any of the cavity was ruptured during the incision. Gently work the skin down both legs until the tail is the only remaining attachment. At this point you'll need to cut through the anus to detach the skin. Use a sharp scalpel to do this and gently cut down into the base of the tail. Gently cut away all remaining tissue around the tail until just the tail remains. At this point the tail will need to be stripped. For smaller animals, mouse size, the fingers and a firm grip should be sufficient to remove the tail. For larger animals, rat or squirrel size, a tail puller comes in handy. This is simply a, a split stick that helps to force the tail off.
For animals such as a muskrat, the tail will need to be split on the ventral side and sewed up later. Once the tail is passed, begin to work the skin down over the animal. If the animal is extremely bloody or if the guts are coming out, you may want to apply a liberal amount of cornmeal to keep bodily fluids from getting on the paleage. Work the skin down until the front legs are reached. At this point, the legs will need to be cut at the elbow joint in the same fashion as the rear legs were done. For smaller animals, a scissors will suffice, but for larger animals, a wire cutter may be needed. Once both legs are cut, the tail should be worked down towards the head. At a later point, the muscle will be removed from the bone. At this point, the ear will be reached. The ear should be severed as close to the skull as possible. If the ear is cut too far forward, cotton may show on the finished study skin. This needs to be done for both ears. <laughs> 